Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about math class methods. Now all the math class methods are static and most of them are overloaded. That means we need not to create any object of math class to use these methods and most of the methods are overloaded so there are more than one versions of calling the same method. Now one of the method is ABS or absolute and it returns the absolute value of the specified parameter. Now absolute value of any number is the positive value of it. For example absolute value of minus 4 is 4 and 4 is also 4. It has 4 overloaded versions where we can pass decimal, double, integer a long time. CBRT or cube root. Now it returns the cube root of the specified parameter cube root of a negative value is the negative of the cube root of the values magnitude so if you if you are trying to get the cube root of 125 definitely you are going to have it as 5 and similar to that if you are trying to get the cube root of minus 125 you are going to get it as minus 5 it has two overloaded versions where we can pass a decimal value or a double value seal this returns the smallest or the closest to negative infinity parameter that is not less than the argument that is equal to a mathematical integer. For example, if you are going to get the seal of any value like 4.5, you are going to get it as 5 or something which is value greater than the decimal value specified over there. So we can provide a decimal or a double value. The floor is just the complementary of the seal. Now if the seal is returning 5 or 5.0 for 4.5, floor is going to return it as 4. So seal is going to give you value greater than the current value and floor is going to return the value less than the current value passed as parameter. Mod. Mod method is used to return the remainder of the parameter 1 divided by parameter 2. So unlike other programming language, we don't have any mod operator over here. So if you want to get a remainder of any division, you need to pass it to the math.mod method where the first parameter is the dividend and the second parameter is the divisor. We can only pass integer or long to this method. So there are only two overloaded versions where we are passing either integers or long as parameter. Pow or power function. Now it returns the value of the first double raised to the power of the exponent. Random method. Random returns a positive double that is greater than or equal to 0.0 and less than 1.0. So it returns a random value which can be anywhere between 0.0 and 1.0. rint returns the value that is closest in value to the parameter and is equal to mathematical integer. So the value that it returns is an integer. We can pass a decimal value or a double value to it and it returns a closest integer value of the past parameter. Now the next two method round and round to long are almost the same. They both are used to round a decimal value. Now there is a difference between them. The round method accepts only decimal value whereas round to long can accept a decimal as well as a double. Secondly, the return type of it round returns an integer whereas round to long returns a double and both of them actually rounds the value on a basis of half even rounding mode. Now what does that means? It means that it rounds towards the nearest neighbor unless both the neighbors are equidistant. So until unless the neighbors are equidistant, it returns the nearest neighbor to it. For example, for 3.3, the nearest neighbor is 3. For 3.7, the nearest neighbor is 4. But what if the neighbors are equidistant? For example, 3.5. So when the neighbors are equidistant, it returns the even neighbor of it. For example, for 3.5, it will return 4. And when you are going to pass 4.5, it will also return to 4. Now it's not like 4.5 will return to 5 because 5 is an odd neighbor, right? So when the neighbors are equidistant, it returns the even neighbor of it. Sign num returns the sign num function of the specified parameter. For example, if the specified parameter is 0, it will return a 0. 
if it is greater than 0 it will return 1.0 and if it is less than 0 that is a negative number it's going to return minus 1.0 it has two overloaded versions decimal and double sqrt or square root function returns the correctly rounded positive square root of the parameter it has two overloaded versions decimal value and double value and returns the square root of the past parameter now it's too much of talking about different methods of math class and now it's time to see the things practically so guys here we are on our developer console and let's quickly create a program where we are going to see the math class methods so guys here is our program and here i have called all the static math class methods which we have talked in the slide now starting from the beginning here in these two debug we have called the absolute method or abs method with 2.5 and minus 2.5 then we have called the cbrt or cube root method with 27 and minus 27 then we called the seal and floor method and to all these methods we have passed 2.3 minus 2.3 as parameter for example math.seal with 2.3 and math.seal with minus 2.3 Similarly, math.floor with 2.3 and math.floor with minus 2.3. Then we call the mod method where we are dividing 19 by 6 and we will expect a remainder over here. Then math.pow where we are passing 2 and 5. So it's going to return 5 raised to the power of 2. Then the random method which will return a random value between 0.0, .0 and 1.0. Then rint method where we have passed 3.7. Now you can see I have called the round method over here by passing 3.3, 3.5 and 3.7. I am also going to pass one more value over here as 4.5 to show you that how it returns to the nearest even neighbor. And similarly to round dot long, I have passed 3.3, 3.5 and 3.7 and I am also going to call here with 4.5. Then we have called the sign num function with a value 3.7. 0 and minus 3.7 and finally we call the sqrt or square root method on 4.0 so here are the different methods of math class which we have discussed in the slide and you can see all of them are static and that's why we need not to create the object of math class to call any of them now let's quickly run this program so click on debug open execute anonymous window and now you can see here the class name is math class methods dot show so let's click on execute click on debug only and here is the output now you can see absolute value of 2.5 and minus 2.5 will be 2.5 only cube root of 27 and minus 227 is 3 and minus 3 respectively now unlike cube root we cannot pass negative value to square root and that if you are going to do that going to return an exception now if we see that seal method so seal value of 2.3 is 3 and minus 2.3 is minus 2 so it's going to return the value higher than the current value and similarly to the floor value of 2.3 is 2 and value of minus 2.3 is minus 3 which is less than the value passed as parameter now when you are going to divide 19 by 6 so because 6 threes are 18 hence we will get remainder as 1 now 5 raised to the power of 2 will return you 32.0 now the random value between 0.0, .0 to 1.0 it's returning this value right now now rint value of 3.7 is 4.0 which is a value containing only integer part you can see the decimal part is 0 for it round value of 3.3 3.5 you can see 3.3 round value is 3 for 3.5 it is 4 and for 4.5 also it is 4 because here they are equidistance and it will return to the nearest even neighbor for 3.7 it will be 4 the same goes to round to long now sign num value for 3.7 is 1.0 for 0 it is 0.0, .0 and for minus 3.7 is it is minus 1 and square root of 4 is 2 so guys this these are the values that we passed as parameter and that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care